Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to perform client side validation for Textbox in Inspiro.net Core. So let's start. So the very first thing, I'll open Solution Explorer and from there I'll be opening the model class. So here I am adding a namespace system dot component model dot data annotations this particular namespace is required for data annotations now inside the class i am adding a property name which is a string property as you can see at present i am adding a data annotation required and i am setting the error message for it this particular data annotation is used for performing required validations it is very similar to required field validator. So with this, our model class is complete. Now let's move to the view. Now inside the view, I am inheriting the tag helper classes. The next thing I am doing is adding a form. The method attribute I am setting to post. Then I am setting the ASP controller attribute to home. And lastly, the ASP action attribute to index. Now inside the form, I am creating an HTML table. And within the HTML table, the very first thing which I am adding is a text box. And for text box, I am making use of ASP4 attribute. And in the ASP4 attribute value, I'll be setting the name property asp4 attribute is used to set a value for a particular field so in this case it will be fetching the value from the name field the next thing i am adding is the html span element which will be used to display the validation error message the html span has been set with an asp validation4 attribute this particular attribute will be used for displaying the validation message for the model property now here you will notice I am adding attribute named class. This is required for setting the CSS class. Now I am adding a submit button and for that I am making use of input element and I am setting the type as submit which when clicked by the user will submit the form to the action result method. Now let's move to the controller. Inside the controller now I am adding an action result method for handling post call. The reason is that I'll be submitting a form. So that form will be submitted to this particular method. I am naming it as index and I am passing the person model class object as parameter. Inside the action method, the state of the submitted model is checked using model state dot is valid property. And if the model is valid, then the value of the name property is set in a view back object. In the end, the view function is written which completes the action result method. Now let's move to the top of the action result method where I'll be adding the HTTP POST attribute. Now again, let's move back to the view. Firstly, I am checking whether the state of the model is valid or not. If the state of the model is valid, then the value of the view back object will be displayed using razor syntax so now here i will be displaying a message from controller inside the view for that purpose i will be making use of view back object view back allows us to create a dynamic objects that means we don't have to define the data type in order to enable client side validations i am inheriting some script files which includes the jquery library the jquery validation plugin and the jquery validation unobstressive javascript library Here I have pasted some CSS classes. This is required for styling the view as well as setting the color for the error message which will be displayed during validation. So with this we are done with our view and we can now run the project and see it in action. Before moving ahead I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also if you need any further help feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon.
the text box and the button has been rendered and also the validation is working fine now i'll be adding my name in the text box and i'll again submit to see whether it works or not so as you can see when we put value in the text box it is working fine so with this we come to the end of this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye